Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing fractions. So, unlike a bunch of the rest of math, fractions are one place where multiplying and dividing are actually much quicker and easier than adding or subtracting. Alright, so that's why we're starting here. So we're going to start off by multiplying. So there's two different ways that we can do this. And I'm going to show one for the first example, and then we're going to do the others in a little bit different way. But the idea is you're always just multiplying top times top, bottom times bottom, and then we always have to reduce. Right? Our only real choice is where we reduce. So we can either reduce at the beginning or at the end. So I'm going to start off by just doing it in this exact order and then we're going to talk about reducing at the beginning to maybe save us some time. Alright, so for number 10, we're going to start this exactly in this order. So it's just top times top, which means 14 times 2 is going to get us 28 over bottom times bottom now, so 16 times 7, which is 112, and now we reduce. Now whenever we're reducing here, this isn't exactly obvious since these numbers are a little bit bigger, but 28 actually goes into 112, so we can divide both of these by 28 and 28 divided by 28 is 1 112 divided by 28 is 4 so 1 fourth is our final answer okay. so that's perfectly fine we can reduce at the end like that but that's gonna have our numbers getting a little bit bigger so to make sure our numbers never get too big we can actually just always reduce from the beginning. Alright, so this time, for example 11, we're going to reduce right away. You can reduce anything on top by anything on bottom, and then you just multiply what's left on top, multiply what's left on bottom. So for number 11, it's really easy because you can see 8 on top, 8 on bottom reduces right away. All right. Then the 3 and 15, 3 does go into 15 five times. So 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 15 five times. All right, so what's left? Well, there's a 1 on top and there's a 5 on bottom. And that's our answer. All right, so for number 12, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So start off by looking for something to reduce. So I see a 10 and a 5, so 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice. All right. I don't see anything else we can reduce, so now it's just time to multiply the top, multiply the bottom, get our answer. So 2 times 2 on top would be 4 over 3 times 1 on bottom would give us 3, but we do have this negative out front. So the first one is negative, the second number is positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. So we just make sure to put our negative on there. And that's our answer. Alright, number 13. So, same thing, gonna try to reduce right away. Just anything that you see that can be reduced, go for it. So, first thing I see is 8 and 6. A 2 
could go into both of those. All right? So 2 goes into 8 four times. 2 goes into 6 three times. All right, now we look for anything else. Well, I see we have a 15 and we have a three. All right, you could also do it with a 15 and nine. I'm just gonna to choose to do it with the three. So three goes into 15 five times. Three goes into three once. All right. With the numbers that we have left, I don't see anything that can be reduced anymore. So we're just going to go ahead and multiply this out. So top times top, 4 times 5 would be 20. Bottom times bottom, 9 times 1 gives us 9. And then it is a negative times another negative. Negative times a negative is a positive, so we are done. All right, one more. So for number 14, this one isn't two fractions. This is just negative 12 times 3 fourths. So what do we do with the negative 12? Because I've been saying top times top, bottom times bottom, but negative 12 doesn't have a top or bottom, right? So if you ever have an integer like this, all you have to do is put that over one. By putting it over one, now it's easier to see that 12 is on the top, one is on the bottom, and we can do the same thing that we've been doing. So for the 12 and the four, I know four goes into 12, three times, four goes into four once, I don't see anything else that reduces. So top times top, three times three is nine, bottom times bottom, one times one is one. And we did have a negative, so we know our answer is gonna be negative. Now, I'm not going to leave it like this because in this case, negative 9 divided by 1, well, anything divided by 1, is just itself. So we can just write this as negative 9 and we are done. All right, next up is dividing fractions. All right, so luckily, dividing is not much different than multiplying. There's just one step at the beginning that's different. So for dividing fractions, here's all you got to remember. Flip the second fraction. All right, by flip, I mean just Literally, the top becomes the bottom, the bottom becomes the top. Flip it upside down. Then, multiply. All right, so once you flip it, then you're just going to be multiplying like we just did. All right, so the only new thing is flip it, and then follow the exact same steps that we've been following to this point. So let's try number 15. So for number 15, First step is flip, so we have two-thirds. We're going to flip the second fraction, so it becomes negative 7 over 6. And then instead of dividing, we're going to be multiplying now. All right, so to multiply, we're going to look and see if we find anything that has any factors in common. So I see 2 and 6. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 6 three times. And then we can do top times top, bottom times bottom. So 1 times 7 is 7, 3 times 3 is 9, and one of them is negative, so the answer is going to be negative. And that's all there is to dividing. So for number 16, same thing. 
we're going to flip the second one. So first one stays the same times 34 over negative 5. Then we're going to start getting rid of anything that we can. So first thing I see is that 5 goes into 15 three times, 5 goes into 5 once, and then I also see that 17 goes into 17 once, 17 goes into 34 twice. So if we do top times top, bottom times bottom, we're going to have 6 over negative 1, because don't forget there is that negative right there. But then that's just something we can divide normally. So 6 divided by negative 1 is just negative 6, and we're done. All right. So next up, 4 thirds divided by 6 fifths. So we're going to flip the second and multiply. I do see that 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 6 three times. I don't see anything else I can reduce though, so just top times top is 10, bottom times bottom is 9, and we're done. All right, last one. So start same way, keep the first one the same, times 8 sevenths. And then we start looking for stuff to reduce. Well, in this case, I don't see anything that can reduce. So we just do top times top, bottom times bottom in that case. So 2 times 8 is 16, 3 times 7 is 21, and we're done. And that's all there is to multiplying and dividing fractions.